kind of like that. Every front, man, just, you, you see a talent being at every position that they have. You know, up front, they play a lot of guys. They play probably nine guys, nine, ten guys on defense line, which to me is always just there to be able to rotate them in. So just, you know, we got to be ready to execute what we do. You know, I mean, whoever's in there, you know, they all have their own different characteristic. But to me, instead of worrying about it, who this guy is, who that guy is, we just take care of what we have to do. But you see across the board of talent and the good defense, obviously, they're ranked very high in, in numbers statistically and all that stuff. But to me, so we got to go execute. How's Chris doing with the blisters? He good if you need him to rotate. How him? How's Chris doing with the blisters on the? Yeah, floor? no, he's good. He, he he was good. He was really good for South Carolina. I mean, he, if I had to play him, I would have played him. But to me, he, he's fine. He's back to normal. It's normal will be. <laughs> what that will be. Did you expect this offensive line to make these kind of strides this season during the season? I, I mean, I guess yeah. I mean, to me, like you expect that every group just means they go and they keep playing together, they keep making strides, and that's that's what you hope for and that's what you work for. Just each week get better and better and better. We still got a ways to go in my mind, but to me, they've made progression of understanding the game and doing the things they've been asked to do. Is it about what you could hope for, expect? I always want better, but yeah. I mean, it's it's to me obviously they're, they're, gra they're, they're grasping it and they're working together, which is a huge thing. You know, and getting the opportunity to play a couple of and get Richard there to start the game last week, which is a good thing to me because you get two freshmen, Richard freshman playing. That's me getting it versus good players, not versus they're not playing versus you know just the, the end of the game time versus the, the lower opponents. But they're playing against number three, who's as good a player as I've seen in a long time. Um, so it's me you kind of get baptized right there. This is what you're going to see for the next four years. So get used to it. So you, you got to be able to counter back to correct yourself and film what you got to do to become a better player. Yeah, what was the biggest area of growth during the stretch in October, considering the level of competition? I think just understand the game, understand that it's understand that it's not they can't you know anytime they're new, especially with offensive linemen, is like it just I'm bigger than everybody. You're not anymore. You know, you're not bigger and stronger than everybody you're playing. So it becomes a technique, a fundamental, and really understanding the mental part of what the defense is trying to do to, to play the game, slow the game down for you. I mean, you're sitting out there going, okay, what's going on here? Oh, they moved, they did this. You know, when they move and they stem and they do this, okay, here's what they're doing. The game slows down, which is the biggest thing of just getting rep after rep after rep of doing it. How, how much better is this the operation in general? Just, just uh, I mean, you know, I, just how smooth is it running and compared with earlier in the year? I think it's, it's, it's easy. I mean, it's easier coaches just, they understand so there's less of the, me teaching the understanding of the defense of it's me I can actually go back and spend more time back in the fundamentals now that they got the game to okay they understand these things when they talk about it in the meeting room they go out and see them and they see it on film so now it's really to hone back in on the fundamentals of understanding the game now let's be better with our fundamentals again